This is my next project. As you can see, I have some rust through here. Bummer. I left the seam sealer in there too long and uh, just held moisture and rotted right through there, which is a bummer. As you can see, the primer is gray. This is the cab. It's not rusting through or anything. I just let it go too long. So I am going to, that's going to be my next project. And over there you can see some, the rail right over there. Uh, drip rail has got some eat through. In pretty bad shape. I think you can see it here. The uh, drip rail is rusted through from here to here. Yeah, maybe some Bondo or something will work on that. I don't know, maybe take it to the shop and they can just fill it. Maybe that's what they can do, just fill that up. Yeah, fill it up, grind it off. It doesn't look too bad over here. Yeah, the door's not bad, that's where my dad's elbow used to sit all the time. Me too, right here. So it just kind of wore right through. And that's why gas was running down one time and I wiped it and it took the paint right off. Yeah, it was 30 years ago. Uh, before I got too far with sanding the cab, I just thought I'd show the extent of the damage. The guy wanted 1600 bucks to just patch in a little spot. I've got some damage right in here. You can see where the drip rail is rusted through. And come over here, you can see the shadow here cast by the drip rail. It's rusted through a little bit. I'm going to have to scrape all that out. I've got, I'm just protecting the paint on the door right there for now. You can see I'm starting to get that all taken care of. There's the ugly duck, of course. Let's come around this way. I painted that last summer. I'm trying to get this done before school starts again. And I showed the guy this and the drip rail. I went at sixteen hundred bucks to fix that. I said, can you get a new cab top? I said no. So I got all this rust through. I'm going to talk to my mom's friend Dennis and see what he can say about that. I got that. And. I'll just come back this way. And I'll show you what I've got up here. Got some surface rust here. Just taking this, well you can see here, got the red primer and the gray primer. Ouch, that's hot. Gray and the red. And uh, that's all stock. Never been touched. So I've got that to take care of. It's worse than I thought. Let it go too long. Oh well. And you can see the drip rail there. It's got some rust on it. Surface rust. Come around over here. And you can see that door it's eaten through there quite a bit. Drip rail there. Eh, it'll be okay. That's where my dad's arm rested for 20 some odd years and I've been driving it the same way so it's been like that for a long time. We'll talk about the rest where the arm sits. Alright, I just put some new galvy wire on the mirror there to steady it up. That's where I secured the painting booth to the fence here. And you can see I secured it over to this fence, little garden fence there. And you can see right in here, got this cross brace coming there. And you can see we got that brace coming off to the fence over there, just a single screw right over there. That side, I didn't want to cut it down, it's a 10 foot 2 by 2 
That's my truck in there. If you can't see it, it's kind of hard. But that's just protecting the paint job I did before. And you can see on in there. Just painted the cab today. You can see I just clamped these off right here. Clamped it there. Clamped it over there because I didn't want to chop this big piece up on the top clamp right there. And it's a little bit fast there. Clamp up there. And then I just have it raced down along the bottom. And then, so essentially, you have just got two frames and then two by two piece going across the top on either end. So no bottom, so I could just drive right on in. And I'll just give you a peek in here. See, this is how I'm protecting the area there. And I did have that masked off where I, for the windshield, I just put newspaper or masking tape. Just put some. I don't know if you can see that or not. Just had some visqueen I just wrapped around the doors. Walk on this away. A little narrow right here. Let's see how it just kind of envelops the truck. Oop, garbage can. <laughs> There you can see it. That's how it looks. Worked out pretty well. That can get a little windy. Time to take it down. I got the cap painted today. On my mom's and dad's anniversary. Alright. That turned out pretty well. So I put some this screen on the inside of the cab here so that I could just leave the door open so it wouldn't hit the door frame, the door jam. Didn't paint the doors yet, that's next. But I got that all masked off and that's just enough room here to get on by. Oh and that's how I had the bottom of that staked off right there. Give it a little more support at the bottom. So I've got three sides secured. This one here, he's just standing by himself, but that's okay. And I've got it clamped up there, you can see. It clamped over there. And then I, this is how I would get in right here. And I would clamp that off, clamp that together, and hop on in.